The principal victim of the surge of upstarts was John Newcomb, the number one player in the world, who lost in the first round to unseated Czech Jan Kotic, who in previous opens never got past the second round. Newcomb fell to a player raised on the slow clay courts of Czechoslovakia, and so the upset was even more startling. After four sets, what separates Kodish and Newcomb? In the classic Hemingway sense, there is a moment of truth, when an ordinary shot will not suffice, when something more is required to define a man's victory. Not a thoughtless gamble, but an instinctive ability and confidence to make the great shot. To call on such a strength is an opportunity given to few athletes. To succeed is an event shared by only a very few. After winning at Wimbledon, John Newcomb acknowledged a champion's creed. Fortune favors the brave, he said. At Forest Hills, John was something less as his champion qualities were mysteriously absent. Past reputation and weaknesses had discarded at the Open, but Newcomb's loss still ranks as one of the great upsets in the sport's history. Explanation? There can be none save the inexplicable equation between test and performance. Youth had a feminine fling at Forest Hills. Single-handedly, 16-year-old Chris Evatt diverted attention from the men's matches for over a week. Displaying an unflappable cool that belied her youth, Chris staged a high noon drama. Three matches in a row, she lost the first set only to hammer home the third. Against Mary Ann Isel, she incredibly survived six match points to finally win the second set. She breezed through the third set with beautifully precise tennis. To reach the semi-finals, she delighted the stadium crowds with stunning wins over the sage Frenchwoman, Francois Dieu, and the athletic Leslie Hunt.